Hello, what is going on everybody, ladies and gentlemen, this is Devultant Drew bringing you back another gaming news uh, video. Um, this one again is going to be a short little quick video, just getting out of work, um, and uh, yeah, this is just going to be a quick little update video on the free games coming to PlayStation Plus uh, this upcoming month in February here in a couple days, and uh, to be honest with you guys, it looks pretty good, I'm kind of excited. Um, Last month, uh, or I guess this current month, in January, um, we were given Tomb Raider, and uh, the newest one, I forget what it's called, and uh, Greedfall. And both of those are pretty good games, and that was one of the better months in my opinion. Um, but I already own both of those games, and uh, so it really didn't do a whole lot for me. But this month, we got a decent amount of stuff coming. Uh, Destruction All-Stars, if you have a PlayStation 5, uh, it was announced, or it was supposed to have launched with <clears throat> the PlayStation 5. I'll just read it straight out of the article. This is um, on GameSpot. Um, it's by Stephen Petit. Okay. Sony has unveiled February's lineup of PlayStation Plus freebies for PS5 and PS4 users. We've known about one of the upcoming free games since the PlayStation 5 was launched, Destruction All-Stars. It was originally slated to release alongside the console, like I said earlier, and it will be available for PlayStation Plus uh, subscribers in the upcoming month, February. The vehicular combat game is a PlayStation 5 exclusive and joins Concrete Genie and Control Ultimate Edition. Now, Control is a game I have always wanted to get and have been very intrigued by, but the thing was is that um, it never seemed to go on sale. It may have, but and I may have missed it, but it never seemed to go on sale, and I never really saw it on sale. And also, the game is a really short game, too, so maybe if it was on sale and I saw it and I just somehow forgot about it, that's what deterred me. But I'm very happy to see a game that I haven't seen a lot of people play. I mean, I've seen some stuff about it, and it's always looked really intriguing. But I'm very happy to see that we're going to be getting this game for free. Very excited. And uh, also, it gets, uh, if you have a PlayStation 5, you get the free upgrade along with it. And it um, brings us to another article. This just kind of gets into more of the specifics. This one's on The Verge um, by Jay Peters. And I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'll give you the synopsis. Um, Control Ultimate Edition, which bundles the original game with its post-launch content. That's also another thing. You get the DLC with it. Pretty cool. Uh, this free version of Control arrives alongside the game's next-gen update, which also hits digital storefronts on February 2nd. And uh, the next-gen upgrade will include 60 f uh, frames per second performance mode and a 30 frames per second performance mode with ray tracing. Now, I think ray tracing is cool. Personally, I like to prefer gameplay over just cool visuals. So I am always going to be a 60 FPS or higher person. Uh, that's just my preference. If you like uh, ray tracing, more power to you. I like it too, but I don't like it enough to uh, cut in half my frames per second. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much all I have for the control. Um, uh, I don't know a lot about uh, Concrete Genie. It looks kind of fun. It's like a drawing based game action adventure game starring ash young boy who happens upon a paintbrush that turns doodles into reality and GameSpot gave it a 7 out of 10 don't know how much i really trust um these uh publishers or whatever you want to say on their ratings so i'll have to try it for myself but but just uh some pretty interesting things anyways and i just wanted to give you guys a heads up and uh i think uh playstation's taking uh, a good step forward because previously their games, uh, besides last month, have been pretty lackluster in the past little while, in my opinion. Um, just ha nothing, uh, nothing nearly as quality as uh, Xbox um, and their Game Pass model and those free games. Uh, that is something I think the Xbox has been doing better. But um, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Be sure to hit the like button, sorry, and uh, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.